Is this the one? What do you want me to do with them? Anything else, boss? Don't worry. I'll be sure to make it hard. Hey <laughs> now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You know, the boss was mighty pleasant with he heard about the squadron capturing something as terrible as you. I was too. It ain't every day you bring a beast so strong to his knees. <laughs> I'm still trying to fly. Save your energy. It's hopeless for you. You I never... Okay. The other guy is gone. I need you to stay calm and listen to me. I'm gonna come closer so I can... Oh, hey! Hey! I'm gonna hurt you. I'm on your side. I understand why you don't trust me right now. But I promise that I'll get you out of here. I'm gonna undo this change for you. After that, you're gonna keep quiet and follow me. And what place for you to go? And it's okay. I promise. See? I didn't hurt you, did I? Now, can you stand? Can, can you walk? Good. Follow me. Uh, wait here. I need to see if the coast is clear. Alright, we're good. On the canal tree, I'm gonna open the door. You're gonna run straight to the woods as fast as you can. I'll catch you. And from there, I can get you to a safe place. Do I make myself clear? Good. Get ready. One. Two. Three. There you are. Whoa, whoa. Don't be afraid. It's just me. The call from the prison. I'll tell you, I'll make you out here, didn't I? How did I find you? Well, I may or may not have slipped the magic charm onto you when I did those chains. It let me know where you were hidden. Don't worry, I'll, I'll take it off now. See? No harm done. Why did I help you? <laughs> Don't you say I ain't working with those creeps. I'll tell you more when we get to a safe place. I can disclose the location, sorry. Just follow me. Apologies if we got off on the wrong foot, by the way. There ain't exactly any other way to get close to the location. You got a name? Huh, it's very nice to meet you. Mine? Mm, well, your captors know me as Jason. So that's my name for now. Look, I'm sure you're lovely and all, but we'll talk more personal when we're safe. When you're out here in monster hunter territory, you never know who could be listening. See that rock with that? Slide it away. You find a man hook. Climb down and I'll fall. Here we are. Bet you didn't know there were all sewer lines down here, did you? A city fell here a few hundred years ago and the rubble 
was cleared away to make room for the forest. But they never got rid of the sewers. My groups call them the brick roots. Our safe haven is called Willow. Sorry about the stench, by the way. It ain't good for me, but with your sense of smell, it must be horrible. If we have a cleaner option, we will go for it. But as of now, the brick roots are our safest method of travel. Ah, don't worry. You follow me and we'll be a willow soon enough. Well, willow is what left of a run-down hospital. It's overgrown and we haven't seen anyone outside. Our own team and refugees come by in months. But even if they do, the place has a huge underground bunker. It was built to protect patients and staff from bad storms, but also work as a perfect hiding spot. The best part is that with a little extra work, we build a hatch from the bunker that leads directly to the brick woods. It's a perfectly stealthy way in and out. Speak no witch, all here. Yeah, I was wondering if you all had some berries. Come on. And here we are. Welcome to Willow. <sighs> I can finally get this to be rubs off now. I don't understand why they can wear these things all the time. They're the most uncomfortable uniforms I ever worn. By the way, if you ever need to get in through that hatch again, just ask for some berries. It's our cold fate. I'm glad you noticed. Yeah, we got all kinds of fools here. Humans, vampires, werewolves, nagas, and lots more. Follow me. I think there's an open bed over here. You lay down now. For all the fighting and running you've been doing, the body of you deserves some rest. Speaking of which, is there anywhere that needs medical attention? Oh, yeah. That looks infected. I'll be right back. All the doctors are busy right now, but as soon as one is available, they'll rush down here for you. Yes, I can finally answer some of your questions now. Um, my actual name is Anselma, and your grou our group here is called Walls of Life. It is started as a human-run organization that wanting to protect fools after the monster hunts started, but now we have plenty of non-humans in our ranks. In fact, most of the doctors and cooks in human role. <laughs> Why have monsters? Well, you are people too, aren't you? And sure, you're not human, but since when did you have to be human in order to be a person? Listen, as a human, I can speak to the fact that we have a natural tendency to stain. But I mean, that is we like to keep things the same. Um, evolutionarily speaking, my ancient ancestors wanted to be accepted by the peers they could survive. And so they look for partners in these groups in order to mimic them. They were also naturally cautious of new things because anything unfamiliar could be dangerous. We've obviously come a long way since then, but humans still want things to be the same. Our instinct is to judge things that are different without any information. We want to quickly turn away the things that are new so we don't have to change anything about ourselves. And unfortunately, that leads to many of my kind being hateful and afraid of folks that are different, whether through their own choices or just circumstances. That's why these hands started in the first place. But the humans were too afraid to accept the fact that other creatures are thinking beings just like us. So they thought the propaganda, they threatened hate, to ignorance, to whatever will help them kept their stupid fantasy alive. 
But, but I promise, not all humans are like that. That's what Walks of Life stands for. The fact that we are all people. Despite how different we look from one another, we all have the same mind. I hate that term. Master. Just saying it makes me sick. It paints you all as cruel and thinking animals. But again, you all just people just like me. What? What? How could you even say that about yourself? Why do you think you're a monster? A lot of fools here struggle with that mindset. They've had it drilled into their heads that they're evil, heartless freaks of nature. It's hard to ignore those ideas when they all around you. Granted, I'm human, so I'm fairly sure what you all experience is. But I'll know it can be easy. I promise you ain't a monster. You ain't wrong or bad just for being who you are. Just look at me. When I look you into your eyes, I see a gentle soul. But that soul is tired. It's tired of fighting those ideas. It's tired of trying to justify it. All that, all that soul what is to give up. But even still, there's a little spark left. And I promise you, that spark will grow and it will overcome what doubt and self-hatred. You're safe here. There ain't any hunters coming out to get you anymore. And if they try, we'll fight for you. I'll fight for you. There ain't anything you have to worry about. Hmm. Look. Looks like the doctor's here. I'll leave you all to it. But if you, if you ever need me, my room's on the first floor. At 25. Just remember. You're safe now. And we got your back. Always.